Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to make custom one strokes and rainbow cakes from tag 50 gram solid containers. What you'll need are an empty one stroke or rainbow cake container, some latex gloves to protect your hands, and then your two color split or solid 50 gram face paints. You'll also need a sharp knife. I prefer a short handled sharp knife to do these. I am reusing a one stroke container that had some global dark blue in it and it stained my hand. So that's why I suggest you might wanna wear gloves while you're doing this. So one thing you wanna think about is what colors should go next to each other. In this Neon Nirvana Global One Stroke, they've separated out the colors that will blend well together and pair well together. You wouldn't want to put an orange next to a purple, for instance, because they would blend together to make a gross, yucky color. So instead, they've got that nice pink strip in there to make a nice color. So first, I'm going to use some white, and I'm actually using some white from a big wolf white that I have, just to show you that you can also use round containers too. It doesn't have to be the square 90 grams. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just using my sharp knife and kind of estimating how big I'll need it to be. And then using my fingers, I'm just going to press the white in all the way to one side. So just shape it and press it with your fingers. For the next color in my custom one stroke, I'm going to be using tag yellow. This is just the regular old tag yellow. And so I'm going to go ahead and cut a strip out and I'm just going to kind of estimate where I need it to be, how wide I need it to be. So it's just one strip long and here you can see that I was trying to hold it up in the air and cut it and I went way off course here to the left. So I wanted to keep that in to show you it's so much better to do it on a flat surface instead. You can press harder with your knife and you're not as much in danger of cutting your finger as well. So just really press in with the tip of your knife. Go ahead and push it in three or four times just to get a really good separation from the piece of face paint that you're going to be prying out. So once you've got it all cut out really nice and well, you can take the tip of your brush. Usually I like to do the top and the side too to make sure it's loose and well. And then just pull that little piece of paint off. It should come off all in one piece just like that. And then we'll just repeat the same process we did with the white. We'll just use our thumbs to push it in as hard as you can to make it marry up with the white. And you can see that the wolf was higher than the tag paint. So I, it's no problem. I just cut off another strip of the yellow and I'm gonna lay it sideways on top in order to make the white and the yellow match up. Next, I'm gonna be using a tag beige. You can see that this paint was a little bit drier. Um, you can tell because it has cracks on the surface. So it crumbled a little bit when it came out. You can see it broke into several pieces, but that's no problem. It's still usable. It still works great. Um, and you, you can still use it even if it breaks into pieces. Once you get it wet with your brush, after a few uses, you won't even be able to see those cracks and breaks. And I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the yellow. I'm just going to go in and cut another little small strip in order to bring it up to the top of my container. And I'm just going to push it in with my fingers. And next I did the same exact thing with the tag golden orange from the two color split that I had. And I actually moved around the colors a little bit. You can see I moved the beige next to the white. It's no problem, you can just pry them back up and rearrange them however you want to if you decide that the colors weren't exactly how you wanted them. It's so easy. So I'm just going ahead and loading my brush and swiping it back and forth across my new one stroke. After two or three uses, you won't even see those cracks in between the paint anymore. And this one made a really nice pretty yellow blend that's great for sunflowers or daffodils for spring. If you guys found this video helpful, I'd love it if you give it a big thumbs up. If you need ideas for creating one strokes from colors you already have, visit a website like facepaintforumshop.com for lots of info. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.